Underwater photography is a challenge. We're limited by air, light, time, depth, animal behavior, just to name a few of the constraints. I like this image of me diving because it's, uh, it captures the strobes illuminating the reef. At depth, the wavelength of red is absorbed and the ocean appears a blue gray. But with the addition of light, I'm able to reveal vibrant colors. In the Galapagos Islands, I was on an assignment focusing on biodiversity in sharks. As we began to swim back to the boat, I observed a large aggregation of sea stars along the vast open sandy bottom. The Galapagos is known for its biodiverse marine ecosystems. It's full of mystery and intrigue, but the colors of these sea stars are natural, but they're revealed by the light of the strobe. Wildlife photography is about hours, days, weeks, maybe even years of patience, followed by an instant of action. And this photograph of a juvenile frigate bird diving to catch a fish is an example of that. It was a behavior I observed and spent two days waiting in shallow water with the lens pre-focused, the strobes above and below the water. The frigate birds never land in the water. These birds are unbelievable. They accelerate downward, focusing on the fish. When they get near the surface, they virtually stall. They place their head in the water. They switch between surface vision, underwater vision, without blinking, catch the fish, and then fly away, all in an instant. I stopped the lens, snapped the picture, looked it back, and with a little bit of luck, I managed to get just this photo here. There are also unexpected moments. Within the tentacles of a jellyfish is a school of juvenile trevally that seek shelter. If you look closely, you can see them right in the tentacles. To capture this image, I inverted myself underwater, giving the fish's perspective of what life must look like through the waves into the clouds and the sky. Oftentimes I collaborate with scientists and I often experiment with other ways to visualize marine environment. This photo of one of my colleagues using a fluorescent strobes to survey the coral reefs. The psychedelic colors emitted by fluorescent light showcase another way of looking at art in nature. While at the same point, the colors may lead to a deeper understanding about the health of our corals. Sometimes I'm on assignments in Indonesia or other places around the world, diving with scientists, setting out to find and discover new possible species of coral. This is one that's being described as a flower-like pattern that is unlike any other known species. And we're inspired by the work of scientists at MIT Sea Grant, where we're experimenting with a variety of photomicroscopy image-making techniques. This image was created adding a drop of milk on the slide and just filming the dynamic flow visualization created by this Cleon or petropod. People often ask, what is it like to travel with you on assignment? And actually the most stressful part of my job is so nervously checking all the luggage and bringing all the equipment everywhere I need to go. And just to give a sense of the kind of equipment that I have, these are the housings that are all broken apart as they're ready to be cleaned and assembled. On this one magical day, working with a team of scientists, naturalists, and boat captains, I slipped into the water with a wetsuit, snorkel, 360 multi-camera system, looking to film what we thought was a basking shark moving on the surface. To my surprise, instead of encountering a basking shark, it was an enormous 3,000 pound great white shark, later identified as large march. I did the only thing I know how to do, which is keep the camera stable and captured 17 glorious seconds of footage from tip to tail that can be viewed in an immersive virtual reality experience. Photography really has the power to change our understanding of the world around us. And it is my lifelong goal to use the artistry of underwater photography to transform public perception that sparks our imagination, inspires conservation and builds a local stewardship about the extraordinary underwater wildlife and to connect residents in New England with the local marine wildlife just off our shores.